So if you've ever been in the market for LED grow lights, you've definitely come across one of these. This is a PPFD map or a photosynthetic photon flux density map. Now in today's video, I wanna go over every little part of this map so that you're gonna have a better understanding of what you're looking at when it's time for you to buy your grow lights. This is actually video number two in a 10 part series I'm doing called Synthesizing Sunlight. That's gonna be all about growing plants with LEDs. Uh, and as usual, this is gonna be coming straight from the Synthesizing Sunlight ebook, which you can get on humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I'll put a link for it in the description box. But for this video, I'm going to be using this image quite a lot. So pause your screen, take a screenshot if you'd like, and consider that a freebie. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so let's pull that picture right back up. This is a PPFD map. Rather, what you're actually looking at here is a grouping of four PPFD maps. So let's take a look at one individual PPFD map to break it down for you. So here we see 16 squares, uh, all with different numbers on them and a gradient of light that seems to radiate from the middle out. What does all this mean? Well, this is supposed to represent square footage. Most to all PPFD maps are gonna be taken at a two to three square foot area. So make sure you pay attention to that area and that the manufacturer is not trying to pull one over on you. Because like I said, generally, they're only gonna be about a two to three square foot area. Okay, now let's look up in the corners. Uh, typically, the height is gonna be shown in the top left of each one of the individual um, PPFD maps. A lot of manufacturers are gonna show you 12, 16, 18 inches away from the plant, what the PPF measurements are. This particular manufacturer seems to have a built-in dimmer, so they wanna show off the dimmer feature. Uh, so instead of measuring at different distances, this manufacturer put in the, the voltage variations in each one of the PPFD maps. Now typically, like I said, that wouldn't be on there and that would actually be replaced with different heights so that you can see as you move the light away from your plant, how that's gonna affect the rest of the PPFD map. I personally prefer to know the distances, not the dimmer, because the dimmer to me is an exponential source, meaning that if you turn it up to 50%, you should be getting 50%. If you turn it up to 100%, it should double that number. So I would rather see um, the distance because that can show you how much more the light spreads out that can show you the, the area around the hot spot and how when you move the light away that particular grow light affects um, more of a spread. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers all over the PPFD map. What exactly do they represent? Well, obviously they're gonna represent the light intensity or the photon density in one way or another, but how are they actually measured? Well, I thought when I first started growing that they were the watts and it's not the wattage, although they can be closely correlated. It's actually the photon density as measured in U-moles. U-moles are one millionth of one mole, otherwise referred to as a micromole, which I just think sounds cool, micromole. So this light's claiming that at maximum intensity, it's putting out 1,349 U-moles of photon power at 12 inches um, when it's cranked up to 100%, and that's, that's pretty solid if that's actually accurate. Unfortunately, unless you have the tools to measure this stuff, the PPFD map is just something that we have to trust, and we just have to trust that the manufacturers are not trying to steer us wrong. Okay, so let's recap. A PPFD map, or photosynthetic photon flux density map, is a reading of the light's energy from the plant itself. Typically, you're gonna see four different PPFD maps on one page, and they're gonna represent the different distances that the light is from the plant. This particular PPFD map is gonna show you the different power outputs rather than the distance. But it still shows you that it's 12 inches from the plant over there in the top left corner. Now, the numbers themselves, that's the light photon intensity as measured in U-moles. And the squares are a representation of the area, which is usually a two by two or a three by three square foot area. Okay, well, I hope this very quick video has been helpful to you. It's really important to know how to read your PPFD map when you're deciding what lights to buy. I'd say the PPFD map and the color light spectrum analysis graph are two of the most important things that you have to consider when you're buying your grow lights. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how you measure your photon density just using standard household LED bulbs that don't come with a PPFD map. So make sure you're subscribed, comment down below, and let's grow together.